The men have made it abundantly clear that they do not actually like women. And today we're going to get into some of that. They don't like women at all. I heard a scary theory the other day. Men aren't taught to be men. They are taught how not to be women. And they're taught that everything feminine is wrong, bad, and anti-man. So their entire, their whole identities have been taught to hate women. But they also have been instructed that they're not a man if they don't have one. So they're completely messed up in the head. This is true. There is no real definition of what a man is, which is why when we talk about the horrific crimes and abuses that men commit, men themselves will be the first ones to say, that's not a man, that's a boy. Because they see boys as being feminine because they're young and they're weak. Anything that they see as weaker than them, they deem as feminine or belonging to the realm of the feminine because they have classified femininity as weakness, which is why they are telling you to rest in your femininity, not because they actually want you to have a soft life. Because if they wanted you to have a soft life, they wouldn't be cheating on you, beating on you, raping you, abusing you, gaslighting you, lying to you, manipulating you, deceiving you. They wouldn't be doing these things if they actually wanted you to have a soft life. So let's get into this next part. Now, this is going to be a little bit challenging because it's going to be hard to read. So you might need to pause and read this. But this is a man who is talking with a woman and she's asking him what are his expectations from a partner. And he comes out and says he's looking for a traditionally feminine woman, someone who isn't going to mind being the child rarer and homemaker, someone who's going to take care of her appearance and herself and is all around content to be the female in our relationship. Mm -hmm. He notices he's female. He's never once said woman. Lady, nothing of respect. He's dehumanized her because so, there are so many different things that are female. A cat can be female. A bird can be female. A fucking plant can be female. A tree can be female. Hmm? Anything f can be female, but only an adult human female can be a woman. And don't come over here with the gender bendy mess. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm old. Okay. I'm not with it. I don't disrespect nobody's identity, but don't come over here with it. Um, so the next one goes. The lady saying that she'd love to be able to focus on making her house a home, working on herself, and just being taken care of without having to stress about the expenses or money. He says, what do you mean? Right? Now, he wants a traditional woman. Traditionally, when they say traditional, they mean old school. Right? So, like, our grandmothers and them. Well, traditionally, women could not work. Prior to World Wars the world wars. Women couldn't work. Women didn't work. The only reason women entered the labor force is because the men went to fucking war. So traditionally, women could not own anything in their own name. It had to be in their husband's name or their brother's name or their father's name. They couldn't have their own bank account. It had to be in their husband's name, their brother's name, or their father's name. Not until 1972. So when he says traditional woman, he really is talking about a bygone era, but they never fully mean that. What they mean is they want someone to cook and clean and raise the children all by her fucking self while also being a submissive provider and helping him 50-50. So this basic, unfortunate, and tragic ass conversation continues with her explaining that she love a traditional man who's going to cover the expenses. Like he wants a traditional woman. Of course she wants a traditional man. And now he switches it up. She's a gold digger and a user basically to want a traditional man the way he wants a traditional woman. It's not a user gold digger mentality though for him to want to extract all of her domestic labor and her reproductive labor while also wanting to work her like a slave. That's not gold digging, is it? Let's get into the next part. The woman righteously accuses him of having a double standard and the jackass comes and doubles down. Now, you know these are black people because black people are the only people having these damn conversations. Every other race of man is a man and expects to be a man. The black man wants to be a boy, a perpetual child, hiding behind his mammy's skirts. He says it's not a double standard. It's different because the things that I'm looking for, emotionally stable, takes care of herself, good with kids, are inherently female traits. How, how is any of this a trait? How do, uh, mm, They use words and don't understand them. Good women naturally have that stuff. You're looking for some rich guy who can buy you stuff. That's not naturally part of being a guy. It's totally different. I mean, especially because of how expensive life is in general these days. You think I'm going to be able to afford a $500,000 house on one salary just so you can play dress up and not have to worry about a job? You expect to not contribute. I wonder, where did she say that? Where did she ask for a $500,000 house? <laughs> 
He says, fuck you. I knew there was something wrong with you. No wonder you tried to humiliate me at the restaurant. I should have left right then and there. She goes, my guy, chill out. I never said I was looking for a rich guy or a $500,000 house or anything like that. Just that I wanted a guy to be, who can take care of me, especially if I'm raising his kids. How can you, your dream woman, be the homemaker and child rearer if she's also working full time to pay the bills? I have absolutely no issue with gender roles or divisions of labor in a relationship. But you're not looking for a traditional woman. You're looking for a maid and nanny who can also help pay your bills. And that's true. That's what the vast majority of black men are looking for. They're looking for a maid and a nanny who can help pay their bills. So part four now, he carries on with the disrespect. Fuck you. You just say, just say you were only interested in me for my money. Next time you match with some sucker, tell him up front so he doesn't waste his time with you. She goes, I paid for last night, my dude. What do you mean interested in you for your money? He goes, shut the fuck up. My comp side degree is going to do way more for me than your business one ever will, bitch. Now I know why you're getting a finance degree. Probably so you can scout out the rich guys and try and steal their money. She says, if you're going to curse me out and call me a gold digger because I want a traditional man, even though you want a traditional woman, something tells me you're not the type of guy I'm looking for. Lose my number, but I hope you have a good life. He reads it. And then in the booty call hour, he messages her and asks if she up. <laughs> Let me tell you something about these fuckers, right? They do not like women. They only entertain women because the society says you ain't a man if you don't got one. And because women are status symbols that they can brandish to other men. That's it. That's all. So when I tell you to opt out, I really do mean it. There's a lot of women who still want the fantasy. They want to believe that it's not all men. My father, a black man, raised me to see it is all of them until they prove it's not them. He said that the black man needs to get accustomed to being guilty until he is proven innocent and that until he got comfortable with that fact of reality, he was always going to be a lost little boy. These are the words of my black father to me, a black woman. And I'll tell you what, I will believe my daddy before I'll believe any one of these niggas. Opt out.